All right, we're gonna do a little technique on getting better hip hinging for Emily. And Emily's amazing, kettlebells. And we're gonna show her range of motion currently at hip flexion right now by marking this kettlebell as she folds right at her hip. Trying to keep your back straight as much as you can. There you go, now mark it. Cause you're starting to round a little bit. Okay, right, yeah. There you go, you mark it, cool. All right, so now, we're gonna do a couple techniques. This is really quick. Let's come over here first. And we're just gonna find if we have any tenderness in the plantar fascia of the foot. So, have a seat there. This is about an 18 inch box. Now put both feet on those balls. I believe these are from Pro Tech. Scoot them back a little bit. So you're gonna put your hands on your knees and you're gonna push down with your hands as you slowly roll from heel to the ball of foot and around. And try not to push down with your legs. So we're relaxing the legs and just totally turning, yes, feel everything turning off on the foot. And then keep pushing down from the body. So you're gonna do about three or four passes forward and backwards. Relax your foot, it should be like hanging forward. Yep, there you go, there you go. Feel like that ball is kind of melting into your foot. So if, you're, if your foot was ice and the ball was heat, it would be slowly melting into the tissue. So your feet are gonna probably feel different, just like your socks. <laughs> I told you we'd talk about the socks, didn't I? Yes. Great socks, I like color. See how they match the green grass? Anyway, Eric's laughing. All right, so that's a couple passes, right? So now what we're gonna do is I'm going to pass this camera to E over here, and I'm gonna body temper your calves and hamstrings really quick. All right, cool, sound good? You down for that? So hit us up with that vid. All right, I hope I press play. Yes, I did. All right, so um, you're gonna put your, let's see. Um, get you another one of these guys. I'll give you the real chalky one to put your face on, because that's what everybody needs, you know? So anyway, you're gonna put your knee cap right above that, and then the ankle is gonna go over there. flexion with the band distraction I'm sorry we're actually gonna work on the Achilles area so right above the ankle joint and I sure hope you haven't worn high heels most of your life no nope. kidding good I actually have good all right now we're gonna work just how I'll keep the heel on the ground and how would we would bend a paper clip to break it so keep going bend back and forth back and forth back and forth Keeping the heel on the ground. Feel that? Mm -hmm. All right, what does it feel like it's doing? Stressing. Pulling your skin? Yeah, pulling the skin. Okay, pulling the skin, the tissue underneath a little, right? Yeah. So it's not like a deep massage, as long as you just keep your heel on the ground. Mm -hmm. All right, a couple more times. Short little mini. Now also lean back too, if you can, like shoot your knee backwards without letting it pull your foot forward. There you go, there you go. Now go forward a little bit more, good. And then we'll do one more of those, and then we're gonna 
switch the other side without getting shot across the room. So now on the left, we got that up there, keep the heel on the ground. So you, if you want to, you can just kind of bend that knee like you're doing a little kettlebell jerk. You can keep your, yep, keep that foot right there. Yeah, feel that kind of, mm -hmm. that dip. So yeah, you're just dipping your knee, which flexes your ankle right there. Now try to get that extension where your knee goes back on that left foot. There you go, there you go. Now lean forward, go all the way back. There. All right, so when you feel you're even, let's hop out of that, then we're gonna go up in the hip again. We're gonna go in the front of the hip for a little bit of distraction. Yep. <clears throat> so hopefully our hip flexors, because you used to be runner, yep. right? So we don't have those uh, hip flexors that are stuck. We don't have the femur stuck in the hip too tight from the front. If we're trying to fold forward, all right, so go ahead and do that little stretch forward, feel the hamstrings, right? <clears throat> all right, maintain that bend, come back up. Same thing, just like we're trying to bend that paper clip to break it. So we're just gonna kind of bend, 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 bend <clears throat> at that joint. And that also kind of like massages that front area. So you can get some of the adductor release, you can get some of the upper quad, um, TFL a little bit, lateral quad there. All right, so a couple times and let's switch to the other side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, and then just fold, fold, fold. There you go. Remember at the top, you're gonna contract the glutes. Fold, stretch, come back up. Contract glutes, lower down. Fold, stretch, up, contract. So when you feel like you're even, we're gonna go back. We're gonna march on that, um, on the sand dune stepper. Get everything integrated. And that, all the muscles, little muscles in your feet looking and working. So yes, feel like, like same thing, like your foot kind of melting or conforming to that. So it kind of stretches that, that bottom. Mm -hmm. So how does it feel? Feels good. All right, so usually about 20, 30 seconds of this, just kind of reintegrate movement. And then let's go over, back over to where we were. And we're gonna fold right at that hip crease. And we're gonna see where we mark that kettlebell. Just don't cheat. Don't cheat. Don't cheat for the sake of video. Just fold and see if there's anything if there's anything different. Let's go back up and see that again. As long as you're not rounding that back, do you feel any different in your lower back? Look at that. Now, all that stuff we just did, what do you see? What do you feel? I know what I see. More comfortable doing it the second time than the first time. So everything you did exactly the same. It just feels easier to do. Uh -huh. Nice. That's our lubricating warm up. So it's something we could do not before we're doing crazy heavy stuff, but that you might even be able to do a little bit of that after the workout, yeah. or even on a pre a day that you're not really training with heavy weights. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so it's fun couple of little techniques that you can do to increase flexibility and range of motion. Boom.